you welcome to the third part of the movie app application which is actually getting it's our data from the movies db api however we are actually using uh, retrofit glide and uh, we're displaying it on the recycler view grid layout uh, which is actually going to have a detail page on click of uh, each recycler view or each card layout now we'll be moving from the movies adapter to the detail activity let's have to have the detail uh, page of this particular application that's on click of a card grid it takes us down to a detail page which is actually going to explain more of what you've clicked of that particular movie so let's get the now we need to extend our compact activity let's have our fields text view we have a couple of them name of movie this can be any name just follow naming conventions plot synopsis Rating, please. Date. And we have the image view. These are the values, or these are the data we'll be passing. Image view. Cool. Now we have let's override the upgrades public void it's an activity that is an create method on create which calls the bundle save instance date save instance date and I'll call the super Save instance state. Now let's set content view to layout activity detail and two bar find view by id and id dot over set support action bar to tuba now we need to get this is we are dealing with the action bar get support action bar actually set display home as up enabled to true so that the back button will be there now we call this method it needs collapsing tuba is actually going to undo the swivel or the drop of the collapsing tuba if I still remember we deal with collapsing to by right in the detail activity. So now let's initialize the image view. Image view. Find view by ID. Tidy dirt. Now we'll talk about the thumbnail image editor. So let's initialize for the name of movie. It should be equals to the text view. Find view by ID. How the text view is going to be the title. We have for the plus synopsis, which will 
also be a text view. Find the view by ID. Or for the user rating. You can actually use butter knife here to make our display simplified. You, know, you write less of the find view by ID. And if you're not using it, just do it this way. Use the rating. Let's have for the release date. Now let's test if the intent actually has uh, a data. You must test for that so that you have. Uh, sometimes you can have an empty intent. You know, probably the API got messed up or something happened along the line. Uh, so you have to actually test the intent that you're actually getting from a particular activity. You know, if it contains data. So for us to do that, I'm going to actually call on the intent and say intent as an object now that started this activity called the get intent. Now if the intent that started this activity has extra and the value of the extra will be the original as the title if the Intent as the title, you know, we're actually going to get all needed in extra intents. So, first of all, we'll save them in the variable just for the thumbnail that's for the post part. We call the get intent get extras, get the string. Was the value as the key? It's called post part. So with that, we're going to get the value of this key. The same thing will be applicable to other key that we are trying to access the values. We're passing them to a variable. Now this is going to be for the movie name and. Uh, string is going to be original data that will be the key original title going to have another variable called synopsis and the key is going to be overview Now for rating with a key of vote average. We need date of release. With a key of release date. Straightforward. Now let us set up the data to the appropriate views, you know, which we actually uh, initialize over here. So we need to set up the strings to these uh, views. So the first is going to be glide, calling glide to set up the poster part to the uh, image view. So we're going to call with this class load into the thumbnail where they're going to be a static placeholder when 
there is no value or there is no uh, drawable picture passed called the GIF load and write it into the image view close the writer let's set other values now for the name of movie call the set text pass the variable movie name likewise for plots synopsis set text pass the variable synopsis User rating set text pass rating and uh, the last one will be for the release date set text date of release so that's just how to set it you know so else probably uh, you have an empty intent else we're going to make toast make text pass this class and the message has no API data and the length of the toast the toast All right sir. now we are going to initialize the collapsing toolbar that will actually show and hide the toolbar title on scroll you know, it's going to hide the we're going to pass, we're actually passing the image view into the uh, collapsing toolbar so we need to programmatically undo this uh, to actually have the parallax and the swivel effect so I'm going to have a private method called in it collapse into bar which I passed into the uncreate method um, over there over here if you can remember I did that earlier now I'm going to have the content of this particular method and uh, declare a final collapsing to bar layout but I'm going to keep Collapsing to bar and cast it down to its class and find it with ID called the collapsing to bar. Let me try to collapse this so that we'll have a lot of space to work with. I'm not giving a break right here, I'm trying to just create space. Right, and uh, we'll first of all set the title to an empty string, and uh, we call the upper layout. Also, get that ID. ID bar this time call the object created and set expanded to true and now we need to hide and show the title when the toolbar expanded and collapsed now call the upper layout begin to add on offset change listener in there we instantiate the upper layout on offset change listener no and uh, get to pass the boolean 
ratio equals to false and the integer for the scroll range as a range of scrolling minus one now let's override a method called um, offset changed it's going to be let's override experience class it's going to be public void offset changed now it's going to take in two parameters the upper layout and uh, the integer of the vertical offset Right there, we'll test if the scrolling range or the scroll range is equals to minus one. Uh, now you pass the upper layout, calling the get total scroll range into the scroll range value. No. Another if statement. If the scroll range, when you concatenate it with the vertical offset, is equals to zero, you call the collapsing toolbar layout and set the type to to this. It's definitely going to be to the string. Let's call it uh, get string. Now we're going to get a string, string, the movie details. Cool. Now you need to set the show to be true at this point in time. Now, else if as if the show is going to be the parameter now. Going to call the collapsing two by layout set tie to, to an empty string and you pass the show to be false. Cool. So, this is just how to set up uh, the detail. We actually consumed uh, the uh, intense data that we passed in from the adapter that's on click of each grid. It's going to actually uh, get some of uh, the metadata of that particular grid, which is probably the title, the post thumbnail, path, and also uh, the vote average. So we need to actually uh, show this up gracefully right there in the detail activity, and we we'll use a collapsing toolbar to make the poster path big and uh, scrollable. So that's why we have to set the scroll range, and also uh, we set the on offset chain listener to that as well. So this is just how to actually display uh, an intent data in another activity and uh, we need uh, a permission right there in the Android manifest which is actually uh, we need an internet permission because our application is actually going to access cloud data and uh, we need to actually have the permission of internet as you've seen and uh, that's fine. So with that uh, we also need to add the detail activity which I've done here. If you notice, I have uh, my detail activity uh, passed in as a uh, registered activity because from the main activity, you get to launch the detail activity. If you decide not to pass in this, uh, the application might uh, crash. And if you check your lockout, your lockout is going to tell you that you need to register the detail activity right there in the manifest. And the main activity is the launch of this particular application. So that's fine. Uh, we've actually set up this application. It's a long way. Uh, we've come. We have our main activity that actually are communicated with our APIs. You know. uh, first of all, we have the swipe container that actually you know, uh, have a loading effect when we drag the layout down 
and at this point it's going to call on the init views method which is also called right there in the uncreate you know, the init view actually has the progress dialog to actually uh, load up the JSON data at a point and pass it into a list and with that it's going to set up a grid layout if it's portrait it's going to make its columns of two if it's landscape it's going to give it a column of four you know and uh, we load our JSON you know, based on our API key and uh, we call the client and the service that actually uh, have the retrofit calls and on success you know, we're going to actually pass this into the adapter to actually populate the adapter which is the grid recycle of it and uh, on failure there's going to be toast that the uh, error of fetching data that's what you've seen right there and we've later the menu which we are going to actually use later on when we are going to uh, create the settings of this application when we're going to be sorting by popular or by most rated or even by favorite that time we're going to be using the SQLI database to save a favorite uh, movie you know this a uh, lot to do you know, but at this point in time we've been able to create the basic grid and at the same time creates detailed activity for each of those grid so that is just what we've been able to cover at this moment and I'll be showing the uh, later I'm showing us the application right there and I'll also be uploading this subscribe at this point to my github account so that you guys will be able to pick it up from there I'll start to look at it start to uh, digest it any aspect of the code that you just understand be, be free to actually leave a comment in the comment section I'll be there to actually help you out with your queries so that's fine don't go anywhere I'm going to launch this application and emulator for us to see how the movies app really look like the application right there to the emulator uh, to get us uh, the view of how the application will look like okay we have a good build success fully finished wow right there we have the grids can you see uh, the guidance of the galaxy the fates of the furious uh, Lugan. Uh, we have the pirates of the caribbean sing split can you see how the grid looks like you know? and they are all loading successfully the boss baby jurassic world max Fury Road, uh, John Wick, Ghost in the Shell. You know, these are the popular movies we have right there uh, at the box office. You know. uh, let's get a look at Pirates of the Caribbean. A click on a grid will actually launch the detailed activity we've seen. And can you see the collapsing toolbar you know, populated with image? And we have the details so you can easily scroll. Just the parallax effect will work on this. And actually have how the movie details uh, title can you see the title and also other details we have the title of the movie we have the plot synopsis we have the user rating and also the release date you can easily drag down again that is the beauty of what collapse into back into to your application let's go back to the main activity to have other uh, grid click uh, let's have uh, get out beautiful movie as well can you see that you can easily swivel up to have other details reviewed and uh, you can easily drag down again to review the image which is the poster banner and you can click back to go back to uh, the previous activity so this is just how the grid is and this is how the movie application is going to take its dimension now we need the settings over here we need to sort this particular view based on most favorite or based on uh, the, the highly rated and also by popular so we need to actually undo that and we will also integrate trailer uh, you know, movie trailer of each one of these right there in the detail page probably when you have something like this uh, the split uh, movie and uh, you we can have uh, two three one or more uh, trailer to actually depict uh, this uh, movie uh, can you see this split now and have trailers down here as a way I'm going to actually remove the file the details page about we're going to have the ability to uh, like or favorite each movie and this is actually going to save in the database SQL database and we can have access to sort based on the favorite movies we've actually clicked on and we can also integrate trailer and do some other thing but after this particular uh, 
tutorial uh, we're going to have the sorting let's sort our movies based on the most rated based on the most popular you know that's let's have that working right in the settings so we'll be extending more on this in later tutorial but for now we have a good movie application which you can actually use at this moment i'll be uploading the source code as i've said earlier and please please don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time